All right, here is video two of my compost tea brewer. Um, you can see that I finally got my diffusers in, so my, my flow rate is a lot better. It flows about, I measured it, and it flows about 16 gallons a minute, you know, with all four uh, tubes combined, so that's pretty good, I thought. Same, same air pump, basically. Uh, all I did was add the diffusers. The other thing I changed was down here, you can see I added a T right here instead of the 90 like I have here. And I put my outlet right here. And the reason I did that is because over here, my original thing I had, my drain I had right here, well, this thing had a tendency to get clogged up because the, the water basically flows into here and into here. So I did away basically with this. I need to plug it up, but it's, I'm sure it's completely clogged up. But it just keeps the, you know, keeps sediment from clogging up nozzles and clogging up, you know, the end and everything. So it drains out a lot easier right there. Um, the other thing I have is this really cool bucket heater I added in here. And all it is is a five gallon bucket heater. It'll heat water up to 140 degrees. I don't let it get that hot. I, I keep it at about, try to get my, my water temperature up to about 80 degrees, maybe 85, and then I turn it off. And then I leave the lid on, and what happens when it brews, when you brew with the lid on, it'll keep the heat inside the, the barrel a lot better. And then, uh, they'll, I mean, it just explodes. You have all kinds of microbial life in there. And so, but there it is. It's basically the the same brewer just a few little modifications so version 1.1 I guess thank you all for looking